Three months ago, Cardano hit three dollars. Oh, it went to zero! Yeah! In this video, I'm gonna talk about Cardano's massive price correction and then two of the huge problems that Cardano faces in the future. If you're new to this channel, my name is Rob. I've been investing in stocks and cryptocurrencies for almost 10 years and I'm here to help you on your investing journey. With that being said, my dear, dear mother dropped me on my head when I was a little boy, so I'm just a simple entertainer. I am not a financial advisor. Before you get all worried and you go straight to your wallet and sell all of your Cardano, I'm not saying to sell all your Cardano. Cardano still has a lot of really positive things about it and I think it has some core qualities that no other cryptocurrency in the space has. One reassuring thing about Cardano is it has over 3 million active wallets. And out of those 3 million wallets, there are a million wallets currently participating in staking and gaining rewards from the Cardano network. I think that is pretty important. And also on top of that, Cardano literally has one of the most engaged and loyal communities in the entire space. There are so many YouTubers that just can't stop talking about how much they love Cardano. You want to actually make 5, 10, 20x gains in crypto? Guess what? Cardano is your best bet. Since we're talking about cryptocurrency, almost no cryptocurrency is widely used, so it's all about speculation. So the fact that Cardano has one of the most loyal communities, I think is one of the strongest factors that can make cryptocurrency successful in the long run. Not be biased. I'm invested in Cardano, but biased whatsoever. The main reason Cardano was sold off recently is because there was all this hype about Alonzo smart contracts and a lot of initial investors and smart money took profits right around September 1st, which plunged the stock. The reason it went down so much is because Cardano does not have a large ecosystem, okay? After the hard fork, there was no locked value on the layer one, which means that the layer one wasn't tied up in projects like NFTs, dApps, all these type of things weren't there, so the price had a massive price correction, and this is not something that you should be worried about. I am not the biggest technical trader, but a lot of people are showing signals that Cardano is literally about to go to the moon, it's ready to take a massive upside. Now, do I believe that? Each cycle, you can see first peak, which I'm not so sure. We can look at really interesting projects like Sunday Swap. They are also working on their own stable coin. This should give Cardano everything it needs to build this massive ecosystem and literally be one of the most successful smart contracts in cryptocurrency. Going out very soon, everyone is getting ready and essentially they're just waiting on Cardano to complete these last few steps. Everyone's ready. Everyone knows that the race is starting soon, just waiting on Cardano. To the reality of the situation is that nobody's talking about is with Cardano like, Cardano is programmed in a language that literally nobody cares about. It's kind of crazy. I've never even freaking heard of it. It's like the most random thing ever, okay? And if you compare this to other smart contracts like Solana or Avalanche or Ethereum, I mean, Solana is literally programmed in Rust, which is one of the most popular programming languages. It also can take all of the C family of languages, which like, I know how to code C Sharp. I mean, I know a little bit of Unity. I've made a few games. It did take me three months to make a shitty Mario Kart knockoff, but the reality is this program is extremely hard. So if you think all of these programmers are literally gonna just move over to Cardano and build this like fairyland ecosystem that can compete with the likes of Solana and Ethereum, and like by the way, Solana and Avalanche ecosystem is growing so incredibly fast. Let's just say, okay, let's just live in pretend land and pretend that all of these programmers that are literally in the cryptocurrency space, which is one of the fastest moving spaces, are just gonna take time out of their day to go do Marlo, Plutus, whatever language and code on Cardano. Let's just play pretend, okay? So now they're over there and we have this massive exploding ecosystem because we have the biggest fan base. So everybody's throwing money into Cardano, talking about how great it is. Cardano is your best bet. And we have this giant ecosystem, okay? Well, what is the problem with Ethereum right now? It's too slow. The gas fees are way too high. Now, let's look at Cardano. One of the biggest problems is it can, it can only process seven transactions at a time, okay? That is ridiculous. That is so slow, okay? And they claim that this is because they don't need it right now, and then there's a simple update that would allow them to take care of as many transactions as they need. I'm calling bullshit because it's not that simple. Trust me, like I said, I coded a Mario Kart in three months. I can't imagine coding an entire cryptocurrency blockchain. And there's a lot of people out there that talk about how they really know about the technology and the development on smart contracts. But like, let's be real. I don't think any of them actually know what they're talking about. So we'll see. 